want kids too. Th that's so sudden. You need to find someone first and then get married before that. What? But I want to have kids with you. Huh? What are you saying? We're siblings, so we can't do that. Ugh. The wind's so strong. Oh, it's raining too. I better get home before it gets worse. I'm Kanata Hoshino. I'm 25 years old and I have a regular job at an office. Today's finally Friday, but there's a typhoon approaching, which is why I had no choice but to go home immediately after work. All right, I'll take a bath and then drink some beer. Welcome home. Ayane, with a kid? Her name is Ayane Hoshino. She's my stepsister. She's 24 years old and works as a designer from home. Why are you here? Wait, how did you even get in? I don't remember giving you a key. I told the landlord about the situation and she lent me a spare key. Huh? Ugh, some security this place has. And who's that kid anyways? Whose child is it? Wait, could it be? She's my friend Miho's kid, Himurai. I'm two years old. Wow, what an angel. Wait, hold on. According to Ayane, her friend Miho, who was a single mother, had to go on a business trip. She was supposed to return by today, but she couldn't because of the typhoon. That's why I went to the kindergarten to pick her up. I'm going to take care of her until Miho returns. I see. It must have been tough. So, why are you here? I don't want to be on my own. Can you help me take care of her? Huh? No, 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 no. I don't have any experience raising children, so I won't be of any help. You can't just suddenly ask me to take care of a child. Hmm. Himari, right? What's she doing? Uh, I, I found it! I'll give you this. Huh? A handkerchief? I almost forgot seeing Ayane in my place, but I just got home from a storm outside. Which means that I was soaking wet. She must have noticed this and given me the handkerchief. Wow. She's only two years old, but already so thoughtful. She's so cute. Let's play together, Himari. Let's play. You change attitudes too quickly. We started eating the dinner Ayane bought for the three of us. We played with Himari, and before we knew it, it was almost eight. Oh, it's already late. So why don't we take a bath then and go to sleep? Okay. Okay. Pan, pan, pan. It sounds like she's having so much fun. Is that the song of Everpon Mom? Look, look! One, two, three. Wow, you're so good, Himurai. <laughs> I wonder what's going on in there. Oh, but I want to play with Himari too. We're done. We're done. Oh, it sounded like you two were having a lot of fun in there. <laughs> Himurai showed me the dance she did on Parents' Day at her preschool. Uh, a, a dance? Show with me as well, Himari. What? No! What? Why? It's embarrassing. Yeah! Kyawa! Kyawa! This life form is too cute! We put Himari to bed after drying her hair and brushing her teeth. I had futons for guests in my house, so I had the two of them sleep in the living room. Okay, time for bed. Until mom comes home. But if you close your eyes and sleep, you'll see mom when you wake up tomorrow, Himurai. No! What do we do? I'm gonna wait for mommy. Wait, did she fall asleep? <laughs> she must have been exhausted. It was like she just slipped a switch to sleep or something. <laughs> yep. Being a mother must be tough. I mean, you have to work and take care of your child at the same time, right? Yep. Thankfully, kids are so cute. What? Do you want a child as well, brother? What are you talking about? I don't have a partner, so it doesn't matter if I do. <laughs> what about me? Huh? A child with my sister? That's impossible. <laughs> Stop fooling around. <laughs> You're right. All right, I'm going to my room. Just relax here. Okay, good night. Good night. Ooh, taking care of children is so exhausting. 
I think I'll be able to fall asleep quickly today. I woke up due to pain the next day. <sighs> oh, it hurts. It's morning! Imari! Good morning. Oh, it hurts. <sighs> Get on my stomach or something and not my face. <laughs> you were oversleeping, so Himari came to wake you up. You should be thankful. Oh, oh thanks, Imari. You're welcome. Around noon... I came to pick up my daughter. Utsukari-sama, Miho. Come in. Miho, who looked like she was about to collapse, came to pick up Himari. The typhoon passed this area by in the night, and there wasn't a single cloud in sight now. Mommy! I'm sorry, Himurai. I'm finally here. <laughs> Welcome back! Did you behave yourself? Yep. I'm a good girl. Thanks so much, you two. I'll make sure to make it up to you guys. Thanks, but you don't need to do anything for us. Yep. We help each other out when we're in trouble, right? 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 Do we have to go home already, Mommy? Yup. Let's go home. Ah, oh, she's so cute. I'm glad you took a liking to us. Oh, do you want to come to my kindergarten? We can play a lot if you come. <laughs> Sorry, but we're too big now to go to kindergarten. But come visit us again so we can play, alright? Yep. Come whenever you want. Okay. Bye, brother and sister. Bye. Oh, I'm so tired. And to think that your friend has to do all of that on her own? It must be really hard. Yep. I'm going to help Miho whenever I can from now on, brother. She's my friend after all. And why are you really saying that? I want to play with Himurai. I fully agree to that. Ever since that day, me and Ayane would go on to take care of Himari for Miho from time to time. Himari's going to be coming to our house this morning. Oh, she's here! Coming! Sister! Brother! Oh, hold on! Himari! Huh? Where is she going? What is she doing behind the fire extinguisher? Inai! Inai! It's Himachan! Oh! <laughs> She's been doing that a lot recently. Do you want to see a video I took of her? Please send it to us. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of her again today. Thanks to you guys, I can go to a beauty salon for the first time in a year. Yep, go and get refreshed. We said goodbye to Miho and went to the park. It was lively in the park. Since it was Sunday, there were a lot of other families as well. We went home after that and had lunch at home. For lunch, we had omelets that Ayane made, since they're Himari's favorite. Igadakimasu! Oh, she's so cute when she eats. I could just watch her all day. I'll wash the dishes. Okay, got it. Uh, forks for children are so small. All right, I'm done washing the dishes. I finished washing the dishes and looked at the living room. That's when I saw Ayane watching over a sleeping Himari, and she looked just like a mother. I guess she can even make expressions like that. What? Oh, oh no, nothing. I was captivated seeing her like that, as normally she didn't act much like a woman. At the same time, a certain thought came to mind. Ayane is going to get married with someone else one day and have children, huh? Why my eyes hurt? Why? Miho came to pick up Himari, who was in a good mood, in the evening. It was now only me and Ayane. I want kids too. That's so sudden. You need to find someone first and then get married before that. What? But I want to have kids with you. Huh? What are you saying? We're siblings, so we can't do that. But we're not actually related by blood, right? Not only that, but we lived together for a few years in high school anyways. Yep, we were in high school when we first met. Ayane was the daughter of the woman my dad married. Stop teasing me. Even if we aren't related by blood, we're still siblings. I already know that, but while taking care of Himurai with you, I realized that it would be nice if we actually became husband and wife. Is she being serious? I've been thinking ever since we started taking care of Himurai together. I thought about how you're going to get married one day with someone else and have your own family. It made me really sad. 
She felt the same way I did back there? That means... I'm serious about wanting to become your girlfriend, brother. And then I want to have your baby. <sighs> I guess I have to accept it. What? I... I, I feel the same way as you, Ayane. Really? I saw you taking care of Himari back there, and I thought about how someday you might marry someone else and have children of your own. I'd never do that with anyone else. Listen to me first. When I had that thought, to be honest, I got mad at this partner of yours. Of this partner that you don't even have yet. Thinking about someone else having you probably made me sad. Brother. Ayane, I love you, Ayane. I think. You can't be more sure of that? I mean, I only started feeling like this today after all. Don't you think it'd be too light if you asked me to be your partner and I said yes just because it was a good timing? No! I'm really happy right now. Alright, let's just do this again. We're doing that again? And action! I didn't know you were a director! Uh, I like you. Be my partner. Yes, 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 yes! I'll be your partner for your entire life. And even in your next life as well. <laughs> You're being too enthusiastic. After that, we went to our parents to tell them about it. Oh, congratulations. Now you guys are family in two different ways. This went a lot easier than I thought it would. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. Yep. Aw, oh, you guys are so cute when you look at each other like that. We're going to look at each other now, too. Ugh, maybe I don't want to see that. Three years passed. Ayane was now pregnant. We'll be able to see each other in a bit. Are you sure you don't want to know its gender? It doesn't matter. He or she is going to be cute no matter what. You're right. It'd be so nice if Amari came to play once she's born. There's something I'm a little bit worried about. What? What is it? Don't start ignoring me once the child is born, alright? Huh. So that's what you're worried about. Of course I won't. I wonder if that's true. Oh, I felt a movement. What, seriously? I feel Ayane's body heat with my hand. And beneath that, I feel a new life that I've already fallen in love with. I feel like crying right now. A bit soon, don't you think? My name is Yoichi Hanamaki. For the past six months, I've been working at a canned food company based in a small city in the province. It says in my name card that I'm in the sales department, but I do things other than sales as well. It's my daily routine to go drinking after work to relax. I wonder which bar I should go to today. Buying some snacks at the convenience store and drinking at home sounds good too. There, I'm done for today. I'll be going now. Wait, do you have time, Hinamaki? Sure. There was an error in the data you gave me this afternoon. What? Look here. S sorry, I'll fix it immediately. It's all right. If you don't do it now, by 11 tomorrow is fine. But... Listen, Hinamaki, you're still under my training, and it's my job to make sure that you go home on time. There's no need to worry. I make the schedule, so there's no room for error. <sighs> Sorry. It's better to say thank you at times like this. The format wasn't bad, Otsukari-sama. Thank you. This beautiful woman is my senpai, Ryoka Tono, 26 years old. As you can see, she's a very cool-headed person, and not only does she do her work well, but she's nice too. I both look up to her and respect her, but I guess that's the same for everyone. Are you done with work, Miss Tono? Let's go out and drink! I see everyone's trying to invite her again today. Sorry, I already have plans, Otsukari-sama. Ah, it looks like you failed again today. I wonder if she has a boyfriend and those were her plans she was talking about. What? I heard that she always goes to the same bar after work. Wow, that's so cool. And kind of sexy. What makes you say that? <laughs> well, I guess I do kind of get what you're trying to say, though. Oh, so she has a bar she always goes to? It must be somewhere really stylish. I'd love to drink with her someday, but I'd probably just stand out at a place like that. Hey, Anamaki, want to go drinking after this? I can come. I'd love to. Let's go. Oh, but we're not paying for everything, all right? <laughs> I'll pay for my own drinks. <laughs> it's a rewarding job, 
and my senpai are kind people. I also have the goal that is Ms. Tono. I was satisfied with my life. One day, a meeting that even the CEO participated in took place. That's why I plan on making a new canned product that will go well with alcohol. Alcohol, huh? How interesting. You'll have to do it on top of your regular work, but does anyone want to give it a shot? I was new here, so I might not be of any use, but... Uh, CEO, could you let me do this? Oh, Hanamaki. Hmm, but it hasn't even been a year since you joined the company. That's true. But having motivation is a good thing. I know. Why don't you support him with Miss Tono? Me? You always go to a bar after work, right? Not only are you in charge of Hanamaki's training, but it would also be good to have the opinions of a woman. Will you accept? What? Um, but I... Miss Tono? Yoroshiku onigashimasu. I want to do my best on this. Uh, fine. Th they might find out. What should I do? After that, it was decided that we'd meet up to discuss the plan. The place was a local izakaya that a high school friend of mine named Tomonaga ran. I got you a private room. Uh, a normal table would have been fine. What are you saying? It's on the house, so just do your best. I told you it's work. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Tomonaga couldn't have just minded his own business. Being alone in a private room with a beautiful woman makes me nervous. Hanamaki? Oh, sorry. I must have been spacing out. What would you like to drink, Miss Tono? Oh, um... They're pretty confident about their drinks here. Oh, do you want a cocktail? S sorry I don't drink alcohol. Huh? I've never drank alcohol. I see. Wait, what? Apparently, the reason she doesn't drink alcohol has to do with her father. Miss Tono's father was cool-headed and mature just like Miss Tono. He was someone Miss Tono looked up to. But on a very rare occasion that he drinks alcohol at home, he becomes a very outgoing and talkative person. He doesn't do anything bad, alright? It's not like he goes on a rampage or anything, but he often starts belly dancing and telling lame jokes when he gets drunk. Ugh, that must be hard to watch. Seeing my dad, who's usually so cool and serious, become a complete idiot when he drinks makes me afraid to drink myself. But I heard you went to a bar every day after work. I never said anything like that to anyone. It's just a rumor people started to spread. I tell people that I don't, but they just think I'm saying that so they don't find out where I go. It must be difficult being someone people tell rumors about. That's why I might not be much of use with the planning of this new product. Sorry. I should have just told everyone that I don't drink alcohol during the meeting, but I kind of just stayed quiet and... <sighs> I'm so useless. <laughs> hmm? Sorry. I just found it amusing how even you get disheartened sometimes. Of course I do. I don't tell everyone about this, alright? I pretend to be a cool-headed and serious person at work after all. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Of course. I promise I won't tell anyone. Alright then. I'll drink oolong tea, but you can drink alcohol if you want. Thanks. Something that would go well with alcohol, huh? Miss Tono said I could drink alcohol, so I did. And once our meeting was over and it was time to leave, I was already quite drunk. Are you alright? Ugh, my head is completely clear, so I'm alright. Ugh, sorry for drinking too much. No, it's because I didn't stop you. It was so fun, I couldn't bring myself to do it. It was fun? Yep, it was fun. Ugh. Miss Tono is such an amazing person. I love how she smiles like this. Please let me be your first, Miss Tono. Huh? Wait, what? By my first, are you talking about that first? Yes. It's true that I've never done it before, but th this is just too sudden. Oh, I get it. You're drunk and you're joking right now, right? No, I already told you that my head is completely clear, didn't I? You don't want it to be me? Th that's not the problem here. Uh, um, goodbye, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Miss Tono. <sighs> she left. I headed to the office the next day with a heavy heart. Ah, oh, damn it. I know I was drunk, but that was just... 
That was extremely impolite. I better apologize to her. I called her to an empty meeting room so I could apologize to her in private. Sorry for yesterday. It, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you. But I, I'm really so sorry. It must have been so unpleasant. Oh, that's not the case. To tell you the truth, it... I actually didn't dislike it. What? I got in bed yesterday and thought of myself that it might be alright if it was you. I never considered myself a loose woman, but... Loose? But it's only natural for people to want to do it. Y you're right. Everyone has the same desires, I guess. I see. So it's not that she doesn't like me. Oh, she's so cute when she blushes. I think I actually want to be her first. Miss Tono! A dogeza? Please, give me another chance. I'll prepare some place special. D do you mean a hotel? A hotel, my house, your house, anywhere's fine as long as you're fine with it. I... I see you've thought about this. Miss Tono! Is this Saturday alright? Can we do it on Sunday? I want to prepare myself both mentally and physically, you see. Alright. Sunday it is, then. I'll give you the best possible first. Yeah. Yarushiku. That Sunday, I waited for Miss Tono at the entrance of the hotel I had chosen. Oh, I'm so nervous. I chose a super stylish hotel to try to impress her, but I wonder if she'll like it. Sorry to keep you waiting, Hanamaki. Miss Tono! Wow. Wh what? You're so pretty. So that's what you normally wear outside of the office. Thanks. I'll be taking it off later anyways, though. Miss Tono! N nothing I was just surprised. This wasn't the kind of hotel I was expecting. <laughs> I chose this one specifically since I thought you like it. All right, let's go. I got reservations for the bar on the top floor. What? A bar? Oh, I see. We're going to have a drink first before going to our room, right? Huh? Huh? Uh, sorry. I didn't make reservations for a room. What? You really shouldn't get so drunk as to not be able to go home on your first time, you know. I'll escort you to your home. Huh? Hmm? Oh, Miss Tono? Is that some sort of business lingo? Sorry, but I'm new and don't know a lot about that stuff yet. Oh, sorry, it's nothing. Sorry for losing my calm. Of course, I already knew. I already knew! Uh, that's right. My first time at a hotel bar. There was a rumor like that going around about me, right? I get it now. I get it now. What should I do? She seems disappointed. I need to make sure she has a good time. Miss Tono? Huh? I think you'll be able to have fun tonight, even if you don't like alcohol. Just leave it to me. Hanamaki, sure. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful night. Just like that, me and Miss Tono enjoyed our night at the bar. Thankfully, it's not as if Miss Tono was weak to alcohol or anything. It feels so good. Not only does alcohol taste good, but it makes you happy as well, doesn't it? You look like you're having fun, Miss Tono. Oh, s sorry. Did I get too excited? I'm like a child getting giddy over something new. They say that children get drunk while adults enjoy themselves, you know? I've never heard that before. It's something my dad told me when I became an adult. It's childish to get drunk and cause others trouble because of it. Real adults just enjoy the drink. Wow, what a wonderful father. He said one more thing. He also said that sometimes we need to become a child again once in a while, in moderation, of course. What does that mean? I think he meant that there's no need to show off either. Maybe it was like that with your father as well. He was in front of his family he loved so much, so there was no need for him to show off. That's true. I heard that he doesn't get drunk at drinking parties with his colleagues, so that's what it meant, huh? <laughs> it's alright if you stop showing off at work too, Miss Toma. I like how you are at work, but I also like you when you're smiling like a child like you are right now. What? Oh, by like, I meant that I look up to you and... I, I know what you meant. What you said right now is pretty cool, Hanamaki. Sorry, I must have let this bar's stylish atmosphere get to my head. 
<laughs> That's how me and Miss Tono started going out for drinks together often. It also helps us with our research on a canned product that would go well with alcohol, of course. Since people would normally be at home when eating canned foods, we started drinking at home as well. But one day, one day, when me and Miss Tono were drinking at her place, Miss Tono had accidentally bought vodka instead of Chuhai and drank a bunch of it without noticing, causing her to become dead drunk. My head hurts. Sorry, I should have noticed. No, this is my fault. I'll leave some sports drinks near your bed, so make sure to stay hydrated and get some rest. All right, bye. You're going home? Huh? We don't have work tomorrow, so I'd be happy if you stayed. That's... Please. It makes me nervous seeing her face slightly red like this. I can't turn down something like this. It was decided that I would stay for the night. But of course I wasn't able to get a single minute of sleep. Me and Miss Tona were enjoying drinking with each other, but we also did our jobs, of course. Thanks to our efforts, the canned product that we came up with was well received. We decided to have a mini wrap-up party at Tomonaga's place. Cheers! Aren't you going a bit too fast, Miss Tono? It's a celebration after all. We have to go fast! We did a project together and started drinking together as well, but we're still kind of drinking buddies. To be honest, I want to have a more personal relationship with her, but... What's wrong? You look like you want to say something. R really? Why not put some alcohol in your system and tell me about it? I really shouldn't ask her out drunk, right? Oh, it's not like I have anything I want to say, but... Here it goes. What? She drank the whole glass in one gulp? Miss Tono, what are you doing? I thought I should just be the one to talk first. That's no excuse to drink it in one gulp. The liquid in her glass was transparent, right? This is bad if that was vodka or something. That's probably not the case, though. Miss Tono ordered, uh... <laughs> Hello, Hanamaki. Why did you sit next to me? What? Now she's leaning on me? Do you like me? Huh? What I wanted to tell you with the help of alcohol was... I like you. What? You like me? Yes. Looking at you fills me with so much affection. Alright, I said what I wanted to say. It's your turn now. I, uh... I don't have anything to say now. Really? You're not hiding anything? I mean, I just wanted to ask how you felt. Huh? Oh! oh I see. <laughs> this means that you reciprocate my feelings, right? Yes. Oh, but more importantly, you need to drink some water. Drinking alcohol like that in one go is bad for your body. I already did. What I drank just now was water. What? <laughs> Was I a good actress? But your face is red. Miss Tono. Oh, she's so cute. Hey, Hanamaki. Can we meet up tomorrow and this time not for drinks? I want to give you the other first as well. <sighs> of course. I'm so nervous. I can't speak properly. What first she was talking about exactly is a secret between me and Miss Tono. Half a year later, me and Ryoka started living together. Ta-da! I made an original cocktail. What's its name? Hmm, what about For Yuchi? <laughs> That's not how cocktail names usually sound. <laughs> the cocktail Ryoka was sweet with a low alcohol content, which is why our kiss after that was a very sweet one as well. Will you have me again today, Yuchi? Of course. Good morning. It looks like we got the same train again. Good morning. Yes, I'm so glad I decided to wake up early this morning. My name is Takanobu Yasugi. I'm 26 years old, and I'm just a regular guy who works in the office. The beautiful woman next to me is my boss, Kiona Ochi. She's an elite employee who works as a team leader, even though she's only 29. Good morning, Mobu Poyo. Good morning, Mobucha. The homework yesterday was so dull. I know. Ugh, a bunch of high school delinquents got on the train. Ugh. I haven't liked people like them ever since I was in high school. That's because I'm an otaku, and the delinquents in my class would often make fun of me because of that. 
That's when I realized that there was no such thing as a delinquent that's kind to otakus in real life. But there are bosses that are kind to otakus, though. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was just looking out the window. <laughs> Do you want to sit? I I'm alright. I was so surprised when her eyes met. The boss that's kind to otakus I was talking about was Miss Ochi. It was on my first day at the office when... You dropped your pen, Yusagi. Oh, sorry. What's that character? Uh, she's a character named Uta Makaru from an anime called Utakuya. You're an otaku? That's an anime for children too, right? Ah, damn it! Was she put off or something? I wonder if they're gonna laugh behind my back saying stuff like, Did you know he watches anime made for little girls? Like in high school. I've seen that before. Miss Ochi? That's the show that plays on Sunday mornings, right? It's so nice being able to wake up and immediately immerse yourself in such a pretty world, right? The transformation scenes are so cute, and even though I'm already an adult, they make me so excited. Oh, if Miss Ouchie says that, I might try watching it. You'll be able to start the day off well, I'm sure. Uh, sorry. For what? You stood up for me back there because you saw things were getting awkward, right? Sorry. That's not really what I was intending, but... Maybe I should ask for something in return. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just continue working hard. Uh, uh, yes, I will! <laughs> That's the spirit? Oh, and it makes me happier to hear thank you instead of sorry, you know? Alright, let's get back to work then. I'd love to hear about your hobbies at another time. Y yes! She's cool, kind, and pretty. Ah, oh, what a wonderful person. That's how I fell in love with a boss that was kind to otakus. We were on the same train, which meant that we could also arrive at the station at the same time. So me and Miss Ochi headed to our office together. Is the number one lottery the thing they're doing in the convenience stores? Yes. The ones for Utakuya all sold out on the first day, though. I don't want to buy them from a scalper, so I'm waiting for them to start selling tickets again. It must be hard being an otaku. But it sounds like so much fun. It is. It's really fun. Just having a favorite character makes me feel like there's a point in all of this, and that I was glad I was born in this world. Oh, sorry, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, right? That must have been creepy. <laughs> That's not true. I love listening to you talk, Yasugi. Misochi. I know. Why don't you talk about what you liked before Udakuya released? I'm curious. Sure. You see, Utakuya was originally a miniseries from Uta's rom-com manga dub's end. I kept talking, and before we knew it, we were at the office. It's still morning, and I'm already getting so excited. Good morning. Hmm, you guys came to work together again? We were on the same train. How envious. Maybe I should move so that I can also ride the same train as you, Ochi. There's a penthouse near my house selling for 200 million yen. Why don't you move there? Ugh, 200 million is too much. Why don't you just let me live with you? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Looks like Mr. Kawadake also has his eyes for Miss Ochi. Mr. Kawadake was of the same age as Miss Ochi, and he's handsome, as you can see. Apparently, he's popular among the women in our office. To be honest, I found it a bit unlikable about him how he always acted that it was only natural that he was popular among women. I'll give up living with you for now, so why don't we go out for lunch together? You know that I'm busy, right? And you also know that it's important to take breaks, especially when you're busy, right? I'm sure you're going to enjoy the limited edition dessert that they're selling at Uda Cafe right now. Hmm, I probably won't be able to stay for long, but if that's what you want, then... Alright, it's a date! Those two go well together. Both of them are very attractive people, and they're sure to catch everyone's attention at the cafe. I'm the last person you'd see getting invited to go out for lunch, which means that I was eating a lunchbox I bought from the convenience store at my desk as usual. I relax by watching my favorite anime, Utakuya. They make up after having a fight and obtain new powers! This is so epic! Wow! Hey, M Mr. Kaudake, what's the matter? Could we talk for a moment in that meeting room? Sure, but... I thought he went out for lunch with Miss Ochi. I went out for lunch with Ochi, but she left saying that she had work to do, 
even though there's still plenty of time before lunch break finishes. <sighs> she does seem very busy always. Yep, just as you say. I'm thankful she agreed to have a lunch with me despite that. Yeah, and what did you want me to talk about? But you know what? Y yes? Why did she talk about you the whole time we were together? Uh-huh. We did a project recently, right? She kept asking me about what you were like. It looks like she's taking a liking to you. Is that so? I don't think it's really as you say, though. No, I'm sure of it. What did you do? Uh, nothing really. I think that she's just nice to otakus or something. Huh? Is what happened. She saved me from an awkward situation where I was about to be made fun of for being an otaku. Huh. Then that means that I just need to become an otaku myself. Huh? Thanks for the advice. Utakuya, right? I'll make sure to study it. Huh? I don't quite get it, but he looks happy, so I guess it's fine. Jun, Jun, Jun! Look, Ochi, I recently got into Utakuya! Wow, he got so many goods in such a short span. He even got the prize from the number one lottery that I couldn't get? I uh, didn't take you as a type to like anime. Yep, I'm an otaku now. I bought a plaid shirt, a huge backpack, and a bandana as well. Ugh, otakus don't dress like that anymore. Mm, but I don't approve of buying goods from scalpers. Huh? You bought those at Udakari, right? Otakus are supposed to be fight scalpers. Don't give them money. Really? Being an otaku has more adept to than I thought. Just clean up your desk before you're buried under a mountain of paper, all right? I'll be going to a meeting. Got it. Hey, I thought that she'd start being nice to me if I turned into otaku. Th that's not what I said. Not only that, but as an otaku myself, I can tell that you aren't an otaku, Mr. Kaudake. Huh? Ugh, this is such a hassle. <sighs> I tried, but I just can't get myself to like this stuff. I'm impressed at how you can get so excited over such a childish anime. What? You're gonna throw away the goods? What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm cleaning up. But you don't have to just throw them away like that. I can hear the Utakuyas crying inside the dustbin. You're the one who's crying. Mr. Kawadake said he didn't care if I took the goods, so I carefully picked the Utakuyas he threw away from the dustbin and spent my lunch break cleaning them. Sorry I couldn't protect you guys. <laughs> so you were here, Yusagi. What are you doing? I was just about to hang this handkerchief that I washed to dry. Is that so? I heard from Mr. Marukawa what happened. Kadake threw away the goods, right? He's good at hurting people without thinking like that. I wonder why he collected those Udakuya goods, though. Apparently, he wanted to become an otaku. Huh? Hey, you two! What are you talking about? Mr. Kaudake! He seems different from how he was earlier. Does he matter something? Hey, Yasugi! Were you making fun of me just now? Huh? You two were laughing about how you used my honest feelings to manipulate me and make me want to become an otaku, right? What are you talking about? There's no way Yasugi would lie like that. Oh, so you're staying up for him? Tell me, why are you so fond of an inkill like him anyways? Huh? Why are you nice to only him? Is it sympathy? Pity? Why do I have to tell you that? Hold on, you two. Why don't we just calm down? Shut up and stay in your corner, otaku. Yes. Wait, why am I doing a Seiza? <sighs> this is what I don't like about you. You heard her, Yasugi. No, I was talking to you, Kaudake. Me? You don't like me? Is that even possible? I also don't like how you're so arrogant like that. Gah! He's throwing up blood from shock. Are popular yokyas this sensitive to insults? It looks like you're making a misunderstanding, so I'll clear it up for you. Huh? What is she doing? I'm in love with him. That's why I'm always nice to him. Huh? What did she just say? Gah! More blood? N no way. You prefer someone like this? Over me? Yes, I'd much prefer him over someone like you. Miss Sochi! He's already dead, so stop! Wait, is this how she normally speaks? It's like she's a completely different person. Coming to work has become fun ever since me and Yasugi started going on the same train to work. I was attracted to how energetic he looks when he's talking about his hobbies. Th that's... 
Mr. Kawadake! Was that really enough to make him collapse? We should call an ambulance. You're right. It seemed like we weren't going to get much work done that day, since we were busy having to explain things to the paramedics and our other colleagues who came to see what had happened. Apparently, the department had noticed what was going on, so he asked me and Miss Ochi to go home early. I wonder if Mr. Kawadake is alright. I hope it's nothing serious. Hey, haven't you forgotten something? Huh? Oh my god! I forgot the Utakuya handkerchief I hanged to dry! No! That's important as well, but that's not what I meant. You didn't hear what I said back there? Oh. Were you being serious when you said that? Yes. You didn't believe me? I did my best until now to get you to like me. Really? Making sure to get on the same train as you, watching the anime that you recommended. It was fun, but I want a reward for my efforts. A reward? <laughs> I'm talking about your heart, of course. So, will you give it to me? If that's what you want, then of course I'll give it to you. Wow, this is like a dream! The next day, we heard from our department head that Mr. Kaudake was hospitalized. Apparently, his digestive system had started failing due to too much alcohol. Miss Ochi, with a smile on her face, suggested while holding my arm that we go and see him at the hospital together. So, maybe she wasn't as kind as I thought she was. Good morning! Good morning. I'm so lucky being able to meet my girlfriend in the morning every day like this. <laughs> but I'd be even happier if you were beside me when I woke up in the morning. Me too. Alright. Why don't I stay over tonight? Sure. I've been cleaning my room recently for this. You're eating bread from the convenience store again today? I don't want to leave the office since it's so hot. I bought it from the convenience store on the first floor on my way to work today. I understand not wanting to go outside. My colleague Kurashiki left to go get lunch, so I started eating the bread I had bought. Ugh, our bread is much better. I'm Fujio Fuefuki, 26. I work at a food company as a full-time employee, and my dad owns a bread store in the shopping district. I may just be biased, but the bread my father makes is high quality, in my opinion. I used to work part-time at my dad's store when I was in high school. I'll buy this. Thanks, as always. That'll be 110 yen. Sorry, we only buy the bread crust. No, it helps us since we don't have to throw it away that way. They only buy the crusts of the bread. I wonder if they don't have much money. A girl who was wearing the uniform of the middle school nearby would always come with someone who seemed to be her grandma and buy only the bread crusts. A lot of stores give up the bread crusts for free, right? Why don't we do that as well? We're going to throw it away anyways, and it would hardly make a difference for us. You care about that girl. It's not like that. She's pretty, right? I said it's not like that. Don't go off topic. They won't come if we make it free. Why? It's just how they are. Oh. A few days later, the girl came to the store alone today and brought the bread crust to the counter. She looks a bit pale today. I wonder if it's just my imagination. Just like my father said, I cared about this girl. To be honest, it had to do with how she was so pretty. Your grandma isn't here today? She was hospitalized. What? Oh, it's nothing serious. My mother says they're just going to do some checkups. Oh, thank God it's something serious. Yep. She must be looking pale since she's worried about her grandma. That was what I thought, but in reality, it was even more serious. My shift was over, and I exited the store through the back door when... Someone's crouching over there. Oh, it's that girl! What's the matter? Yeah! S sorry Uh, you don't really need to apologize, though. Wait, were you doing something bad? Uh, sorry. I was doing scent theft. Huh? Theft? It starts to smell of pizza at this hour. I smell it while eating these bread crusts. Sorry. No, I'm not mad. I, I was just surprised. I couldn't just leave her there. So I brought her to her house, which is on the second floor, to find out in more detail what she was doing. Ojimashimasu! It's just me and my dad who live here, so it might be a bit messy. Sorry. What about your mother? She passed away in an accident when I was in elementary school. We are the same then. The pretty girl's name was Saki Kofu. Apparently, her father passed away when she was in elementary school. She lives with her mother and grandmother now. You probably already know this, but we aren't very rich. 
Things got even tougher for us now that we have to pay for Grandma's hospitalization fees, which is why we stopped buying butter and jam. That's why you were smelling the pizza while eating. Yes. Oh. The crusts of the bread my dad makes tastes good on its own, but it would definitely taste better if there were other flavors as well. I'm also worried she might not get enough nutrients. Hold on. Yes. I went back to the store and saw that Dad was looking at me suspiciously. Do you have any leftover bread? Not yet. I'll buy some then. You're going to buy our bread? Yep. The other part-time worker, Mobusaki, said that the staff can buy bread for 30% off. I'm going to buy a pizza bread, katsu sandwich, and an egg tart with my allowance. All right. As you probably could have guessed, I gave the bread I bought to Miss Kofu. Y you're really going to give me this much? We were going to throw it away anyways, so don't worry about it. Thank you. I'll give some more bread to you tomorrow if you wait at the same place at the same time. No, tomorrow's fine. I see. I guess we're going to have to throw away our limited edition Hawaiian karaoke sandwiches tomorrow then. J Jururi, if, if by chance there ends up being some bread you have to throw away, then could you give them to me? Got it. The next day... I was restless the whole time I was working, and also the whole time I was at school. <sighs> Miss Kofu was so cute. I wish we could get to know each other better. I asked for her contact information yesterday, but it seems she doesn't have a phone. That's why I haven't talked to her since she left yesterday. She's almost here. Can I buy some bread with a discount again today? 50%. I'm gonna start giving discounts to students. Really? Yes! Uh, a Hawaiian karaoke sandwich, a pizza bread, oh, and something sweet as well. Hello. Hello. I opened the back door, and Miss Kofu was already there. Thank you for yesterday. It was delicious. My cheeks felt like they were going to melt. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. We were going to throw these away, so you can have these. What? You're really going to throw this away? Uh, yeah. We have strict standards for the bread we sell to our customers. I guess it's true that professionals care about details a lot then. All right, I'll take them then. Thank you. Will you come tomorrow as well? I won't cause you guys problems? Of course not. After that, I started giving the bread I bought to Miss Kofu every day. Dad's student staff discount got better, and he now lets me buy bread at 10% of the original price. Here. I can have this? You say that like it's your first time. <laughs> take these home. Okay, thank you. I wonder what's the matter. She seems down today. My grandma is going to be discharged from the hospital tomorrow. So from tomorrow, me and my grandma are going to come and buy stuff. I see. That's good news. Yes. And also, um, I wanted to thank you. Here, please accept it. A letter? I don't have anything I can give you, so I decided to write you one. Thanks! A letter from a girl? Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, my hands are shaking. I wonder what it says. To Mr. Fufuki, thank you for all the bread. They were super duper delicious. She has cute writing. Huh? Sorry you had to lie. That wasn't bread you were going to throw away, but bread that you bought, right? Sorry you had to use the money you earned from your job. My mother came to the owner to say thanks yesterday. That's when he told my mom that it wasn't actually bread that was going to be thrown away. But, so that's why she was looking so down today. Because she found out I was lying. Thank you for worrying about me, but I'm fine now. We're going to be moving to my mother's hometown tonight. What? According to her letter, they were going to move to her mother's hometown to help out with the business run by one of her relatives. It's a... It says things are going to be easier for them there since everything's cheaper there compared to here in the city. Sorry, I couldn't say goodbye in person. Thank you for everything until now. What? She said that she'd come with her grandmother tomorrow. I contacted one of my friends who went to the same middle school as Miss Kofu. But apparently, she didn't know where she lived. But it shouldn't be far from here, right? I just have to find a home with a moving truck. I'm going to go out for a bit, Dad. If you're looking for the Kofus, they're already gone. What? They've already left. What? What? Why didn't you tell me if you knew? 
Why didn't you tell me that Miss Kofu's mother came yesterday as well? Don't you realize that you hurt her? What do you mean? Think about it for yourself. If not, you'll never be able to protect your loved ones. Fufuki! Fufuki! Lunch break is over. I fell asleep thinking about my dad's bread store. Fufuki, you are fast asleep. Did you have a good dream or something? Uh, I don't know. Me 10 years ago was a stupid kid who didn't see what was going on around him. One year after getting my heart broken, the shopping district was completely renovated as a part of city development, and my father's store, Pehyarapan, closed down. My dad found a job at a bread store in a shopping mall, and I'm now a full-time employee at a food company. Yes, this is Mobiyama from the sales department. Yes. Yes. What? What's the matter? Apparently, Mobukawa got into an accident. Is he alright? It looks like he's uninjured, but apparently he was going through checkups and police interviews and stuff. He was supposed to bring samples to Uta Bakery today. Should I go instead? That would be really helpful. All you have to do is give them a few sample products. Got it! I heard that Uta Bakery was a store that's currently preparing for its opening. I took some of the sample dried fruits and went to the location. I came from a bottle corporation. Mr. Mobukawa couldn't come today, so I came instead. Thank you. Wow, she's so pretty. Hmm, I think I've seen her somewhere before. Hmm? Are you Mr. Fufuki? Yes, I'm Fujio Fuefuki. I'm Saki Kaufu, the girl who used to go to PR upon. What? We went to her office to go and get some coffee. Everything's still in preparation, so sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. This smile of hers she gives when feeling sorry hasn't changed. I was so surprised when I found out our client was you, Miss Kofu. Me too. Oh, no need to be polite with me just because we're at work. Oh, okay then. Did things go well after that? Yes, the province is so relaxing. I came back here to start a store. You must still like bread if you're going to start a bread store then, huh? Yes. Pihyarapan is no longer there, right? You must still like bread if you're going to start a bread store then, huh? I see. I wanted to buy some actual bread there one day. It's a shame the store is gone. Oh, actual bread, huh? Now that I'm an adult, I understand. I made her feel ashamed of herself then. Um, I was being a hypocrite then, right? Sorry. No, don't apologize. I'm very thankful for what you did. Besides, let's not talk about sad things today. It's a miracle that we were able to meet each other again after all. <laughs> I kept looking for you to think that we'd meet again while I wasn't expecting it at all. What? You were looking for me? The first place I went after returning was Pihyarapan, or at least the place it used to be in. I see. Oh, can we exchange contact information? I'd love to. I have a phone now, see? Me and Miss Kofu started going out for dinner now, and then after that. Sometimes we go visit various bakeries on weekends as well. When Miss Kofu's mom came to visit, we invited my dad over so that the four of us could meet up and talk about the past. I was so surprised when I heard she was eating bread crusts while smelling the food from the bakery. It sounded like one of those novels set in the past. I'm glad you found the smell so delicious. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Apparently, the preparations for her bakery are doing well. I became motivated as well and started working harder at work. One day... What are we going to do about this inventory? Sorry, sorry, sorry! What's the matter? Apparently he added an extra zero to the amount of nuts we were going to order. We won't be able to use up all of this unless we get a huge contract or something. Seriously? Since that day, I've been making phone calls and meeting with clients outside the office non-stop. Yes, yes. Thank you for your patience. Excuse me. <sighs> they won't buy them either. Oh, I got a text from Ms. Kofu. Why don't we go out for dinner this Saturday? Sorry, I'm really busy at work right now and I might already be a corpse by Sunday. Do you have any plans of making bread with nuts? I explained to her our situation and she said that she wanted to buy some of our nuts. I'm grateful for any bit that helps, but we were still far from our quota. Oh, our department is going to be ruined at this rate. Just like I told Miss Kofu, I had become a corpse on Sunday and just lied down on my bed or on my sofa all day. 
I doubt even this will be enough to get rid of my exhaustion from work, though. Ugh, I wonder if it's some sort of salesperson. I'll just ignore it. They won't give up. I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm not selling anything. What? Miss Kovu? Ojomashimasu. I came because I was worried about your health. I texted you before coming, though. Sorry, I wasn't looking at my phone. You must be very tired. Why don't you rest with your head on my lap? Huh? When my mother did that for me, I was always able to calm down and relax. Oh, but you probably don't want to do that with me, right? Sorry. Rest on her lap, huh? I must have been too tired to make sane decisions at the time. All right. Well, go, go ahead then. Wow, it's so warm and relaxing. <laughs> Are my laps soft enough? I think I'm gonna fall asleep. Go ahead. Don't worry about work anymore, too. I talked to an acquaintance, and they said they're going to buy a huge amount of nuts. What? I know a lot of people since I used to research bakeries and do training. Your company's products are high quality, so they all happily agreed to buy some nuts. Miss Kofu? Sorry. It looks like I made you do a favor for me. I'm glad I could help you since I've been wanting to thank you for so long. I felt ashamed of myself when I found out that you were actually buying that bread for me back then. I was also a bit upset in a way. I used those feelings to keep myself from moving forward. So, it's thanks to you that I'm about to own a bakery. I'm very grateful for what you did. Miss Kofu. Hmm? Did you fall asleep? <laughs> Good night. One hour later. <sighs> My head feels so refreshed. Miss Kofu? Good morning. Did I fall asleep? Aren't your legs numb or something? <laughs> they are. Uh, I thought so. Sorry. Did I just lie down on the laps of such a pretty woman? Uh, you're not even my girlfriend. How embarrassing. Do you want me to be your girlfriend? What? Looking at you while you were sleeping made me fall in love with you even more. I like you. Uh, what? Am I dreaming right now? Do you want me to pinch you? It'll probably just hurt. No need for that. Oh, this is real then. You don't want it to be? No! I'm just so happy I can't believe it's actually happening. I wanted to get closer to you ten years ago, you know? Yoroshiku, onegaishimasu! We started dating, but since Saki's bakery just opened, we didn't get to spend a lot of time with each other. Apparently, business at Uda Bakery is going well. Three years later. Three years later... Please, take the first bite. The groom's father made this cake. We got married. I guess we have to be careful of getting fat from happiness. Ugh, summer nights are so hot. There's so many mosquitoes here too. I guess I just have to bear with it though. I'm Kenta Inugami, 23. This and that happened and I've been homeless since yesterday. I never realized having a roof over your head is such a blessing. I was planning on bearing with the hunger, but when I helped an old lady who was passing by carry her stuff, she gave me a loaf of bread. I'm so thankful. I'll chew this, I'll chew each bite a hundred times before swallowing. Hmm? That sound didn't come from my stomach, right? Where'd it come from? Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry. She ran away. That was such a pretty lady. I wonder if she's going to be all right alone at night like this. Anyways, time to eat. I hear someone's stomach rumbling again. This time from behind? The girl from earlier. Hey, are you all right? Uh, I'm hungry. Why don't we go and sit on that bench first? Why don't we go and sit on that bench first? Here, you can eat this bread. I can't, this is your food. <laughs> Your body says it wants to eat it, though. No need to be polite. Mm, okay, I'll accept your offer then. Mm, this is delicious. Mm, this is the first time I've eaten bread like this. The sweet cream matches the soft bread so well. So, your experience at giving food reports. <laughs> Goshi Susama Deshita, are you homeless? Yeah. I'm Kenta Inugami. I've been homeless since yesterday. 
You're my senpai then, Kenta-san. Senpai? What, you're homeless too? Yes. A lot happened, and... I see. I did get the feeling that there must be a reason such a pretty woman was alone at the park at this hour. I wonder why she's homeless. <sighs> Gochi Shusama Deshita. It's dangerous for a girl to be on her own here. I think it would be best if you relied on the police or some other government facility if anything happens. <laughs> Thank you for worrying about me, but I can't go there. I see. She doesn't look like she wants to say the reason. But isn't it dangerous for such a pretty girl to sleep in the park? It's already 10, huh? Do you want to sleep on this bench? I thought it was where you were going to sleep. I'll sleep nearby on the ground. Parks are dangerous at night after all. She'd be safer though if I slept nearby. Wow, thank you. But are you sure you're willing to be that kind to me? I don't want you to start hating Japan because something bad happened to you. <sighs> oh, you're making a misunderstanding. I'm Japanese. What? Really? I thought you were only half Japanese or something since you had a foreign accent. I grew up abroad. That's why I'm not very good at Japanese. <laughs> I see. All right, time to go to bed then. Put this card on the floor and... Wow, you're like a professional homeless person. I didn't know there was such a thing as a professional homeless person. <laughs> <sighs> I couldn't sleep that much. What? When I woke up the next morning, the girl I met yesterday was no longer on the bench. I looked at the ground and saw that she had left a message for me. Thank you, Kenta-san. I'll repay you someday. Repay me, huh? All I did was give her some bread, though. Now that I think about it, I don't even know her name. I hope she's alright. Two years later. I found a job at a company in the capital and was now a full-time employee. I earn a stable salary and no longer have to worry about food and housing but I also felt that I was missing something. Is it greedy to want some excitement in life? Let's go and get some drinks after this, Inugami. Sure, it's been a while, hasn't it? He's my colleague, Tomonaga. I was blessed having good colleagues like this. I really shouldn't ask for more, right? One day, I woke up and got a call from Tomonaga. Why is he calling me so early in the morning? Hello. Hey, Inugami. Hurry up and turn on the TV. The TV? Uh, what channel? They're talking about it on every channel. What's he talking about? Did his favorite celebrity get married or something? <laughs> what? This is our CEO, right? Our CEO, Miss Akuhara, was on TV. Apparently, she was arrested for embezzlement. Jesus, at least make me look good if you're going to put me on TV. This isn't the time to care about how you look. There must be a huge commotion in the office right now. I guess I'll just go to work first. Just as I expected, it was a mess inside the office. Police officers were walking about doing investigations, and we kept getting calls from our clients saying that they were canceling their contracts with us. Everyone was in a panic. For now, let's just try to do the work as usual and deal with our clients through the phone. Easier said than done. I wonder what's going to happen to us. Oh, at this rate, we're going to go bankrupt. It wasn't only inside the office that there was a ruckus. Oh, one of the employees came out. Oh, one of the employees came out. What? Do you have anything to say about the incident? What kind of person was the CEO? Please, give us your thoughts. I, I don't know anything, so excuse me. This is so annoying. What's their deal even? I never thought I'd be surrounded by the press like a celebrity after this. I'm so tired. I want to go home already and drink some beer. I don't know anything, so excuse me. Kenta-san? I found you! As time passed, things started to calm down. Apparently, the higher-ups are preparing to sell our company. But I wonder if anyone's willing to buy a company that's steadily losing all of its clients. But I wonder if anyone's willing to buy a company that's steadily losing all its clients. And I also wonder if whoever's the new owner will keep us on our jobs. Employees who had decided that staying wasn't worth the risk started quitting day by day. Ojimasi Masu! Who's that pretty lady? Were we supposed to have guests today? Oh, I found you! Hello! Hmm? <laughs> oh, she's so pretty! Who might you be? I guess it's only natural that you've forgotten. I came to repay you. Repay me? Oh! 
That way of speaking, could it be? Yes, I'm the person you gave your bread to that night. That beautiful woman is an acquaintance of Inugami's? She said that you wanted to repay him. What was that about? Why don't we go to a different room and talk this? Okay. We left the office floor, which was full of people talking and hurrying about, and went to a meeting room. My name is Mitsuki Mabara. My dad is the head of the Maibara group. So you're a daughter of the Maibara family? The Maibara family is a powerful family that practically runs several famous mega companies. They used to be one of the Zaibatsu and are also rumored to have influence over politics as well. The Maibara group went international, right? Her growing up abroad must have something to do with that. Apparently, Mitsuki had left her home two years ago since her family was forcing her to marry someone she didn't want to. Apparently, Mitsuki had left her home two years ago since her family was forcing her to marry someone she didn't want to. But thanks to you, I realized that I needed to stop running and instead get stronger. Thanks to me. Yes, you protected me that night, right? That night? Oh, uh... Look, there's a girl sleeping on the bench. Oh, she's so pretty. But there's a man beside her. What are we going to do? He shouldn't be a problem for us. There are three of us. Kidnapping one girl should be easy. Ugh, I'm trying to sleep here. <sighs> he woke up. Hey, could you guys keep quiet? You'll wake her up. Oh, looks like someone's brave. Well, this is bad. Let's run. Ugh. Time to go back to sleep. I was scared then, so I pretended to be asleep. You were so cool, Kenta. This is so embarrassing. So I was being watched then, huh? Not only that, but she woke up despite me trying to keep quiet. Why were you so strong? When I was young, my dream was to become a main character in Jump. My hobby was to train so I could be just like them. It's embarrassing, but I even practiced doing Kamehameha's and once lived in the mountains for a month. Wow, that's so cool. I want to do Kamehame Beams as well. Kamehameha! But I finally realized that I couldn't become like one of those main characters at the age of 25. So I got a job as a regular office worker. <laughs> it's an embarrassing past. <laughs> no, it's cool. I saw the news about the embezzlement and came to repay you. I told my parents about you and they said they're going to buy the company. Really? But there's a condition. What condition? Like a restructuring of the company or something? But judging by how she's saying it, it's not something bad, right? Go out with me. With who? With me. Who's going to go out with you? You. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? What? That's the condition your father came up with? No, I came up with it. Dad gave his permission. But why would you want something like that? I've liked you ever since you saved me that night, Kenta. Could you go out with me? To be honest, I'm about a lot of things regarding this condition of here, but... I might be able to have a good relationship if it's with her. No, I'm sure I will. If you're sure about that, then... Uh, yoroshiku onegaishimasu! Yay! Well, that's a bit too early, don't you think? I waited three years for this, you know? Let me do more. Wait, calm down! Can you hear something, Tomonaga? I think our colleague's chastity is being violated. Not the other way around? It's fine, I think. Probably. <laughs> Thanks to the support of the Maibara family, our company went back to normal. Actually, I think it might have gone a little bigger. The clients that left us started coming back one by one, and our employees are also overjoyed. Do that game, Kenta. A punching machine? You're strong, so I'm sure you'll get a high score. But I haven't trained in three years, you know. Just do it! If you say so, Mitsuki. <laughs> oh, damn it, I broke. Oh, my. Three years later, the new CEO was appointed. My name is Kenta Inugami, and I have recently been appointed as the new CEO. Let's all work together and make this company even larger. You're doing great, Inugami. You look so cool. Please be quiet over there. Ugh, it's embarrassing. Mizuki now supports me as a CEO's wife. Oh, I'm so tired. That was such a fun press conference. 
It's because you and Tomonaga kept making comments. You said to give you fan service or something, right? I'm your fan, so it can't be helped. What's with the sharp face? I couldn't become a main character in Jump, but I found something I wanted to protect. A kind heroine. It looks like I need to keep training. <laughs>